We can always stay a little longer We don't have a plan Just let me live a little younger Than I really am We've got nothing here to save us Save us from ourselves Let's live life like it's made of Hi guys and welcome back to the channel I'm hoping that you all are having a lovely day today So today we are back at the channel with another speed build And this time we are doing a collaboration with Curvy Simsy. So she is my dear friend from Holland And she is also a simmer and a YouTuber And we have been playing Minecraft together for a couple of weeks now And... We just thought that it would be fun if we done a collaboration together. So that is what we're doing today. Um, I think she's actually mainly a creative sims simmer. So she only does Cass. But for me, she was so very kind to do a build collaboration with me. Which is so much fun. So I'm really curious what she's gonna do with the house. Um... I don't know, it's so weird. I, I'm just so really excited to, she, to see what she's gonna do. And if you also want to see what she's gonna do, I will link her video in the description of the video, of this video. And I will also put her channel there as well. And check out her amazing work. Give her a little bit of love from me. You know, go and say hi in the comment section. That would mean the world to me. Um, so yeah. Anyways, let's get to this build. So we are building on a 30 by 40 in Newcrest. This is a modern uh, suburban home or not suburban it's a modern family home um, I really wanted to do something very modern looking because I've been stuck in this very traditional vibe and I knew with a realm of magic just around the corner that I was gonna keep continue building very traditional because the realm of magic, uh, witches, and looking at the trailer and the items that were in there, they felt very traditional. So I knew that uh, a lot of traditional builds were gonna come your way very soon again. So I decided to go for this collaboration in the more modern side, or although more, in a very modern side. And I have to say, I love it. I've missed building these type of houses you know very traditional and very traditional very modern and contemporary this was just so much fun uh, to go back to a smaller lot usually lately like the couple last couple of months i've been really stuck into the large mansions like in the 64 by 64s or a 50 by 50 that was like my minimum but this was so much fun, going back to basic, back to a 30 by 40, doing a nice modern home for a you know family or something like that. I actually don't know what she's going to put in the house. I'm excited and scared at the same time, but it's going to be so much fun exploring her home. Let me know in the comments down below if you all want to see a house tour. I still need to do the house tour from my collaboration with Thomas. So I will that will be coming as well as you guys probably have noticed I have been picking up my pace again with creating videos uh, the kids are back to school so I'm getting a bit more rhythm in my schedule <laughs> um, the two months that they were at home I had no schedule whatsoever I lived day by day and what I actually did was I enjoyed life with my kids and I think that is something that you should do when your kids are at home you need to spend time with them so i've definitely been doing that we've been playing a whole lot of minecraft together <laughs> we have a realm together and we had so much fun this vacation just relaxing playing video games together or going shopping we went to the movies a couple of times and also we just netflixed and chilled together i had so much fun this vacation and i feel like my battery is kind of recharged again I'm definitely not there yet I feel that there's still like a weird hollow place in my head that's kind of nagging on me but I'm trying to just ignore it and take the days as they come but I feel motivated again and I feel energetic again to record videos and you probably already noticed I've 
I've uploaded a couple in a week. <laughs> so strange. Um, but it feels so good to do this again. So I'm hoping that you all enjoying are enjoying my little streak of videos. Um, there's definitely more to come because like I said, the Realm of Magic is coming. It's Friday here in Belgium. So I think, let me see. I think in four days the pack is gonna release. Yeah, four days. And I think we're gonna, I think the embargo is like a day before that. But I'm not sure. I'm not sure about embargo dates. Of course, you all know I'm gonna get the pack to uh, review before time and to create some content for you all. So keep an eye out on the channel, uh, probably from Monday or something. I, again, I'm not sure about the embargo dates. I haven't really been digging into them yet. Um, but there will be, you know, there will be videos of the Realm of Magic very soon. So, so excited and hyped about it. Uh, a little bit scared because of the, the, the furnishing is very traditional and I'm like, oh my God, <laughs> what am I gonna build with it? Um, definitely not a mansion because I did saw on Twitter that there were only like four or five lots and they weren't that big. So curious on to see how big they are. But I think, yeah, I think we're not gonna get like a 64 by 64 or a 70 by 70 like I'm dreaming of. But that's okay. I'm keeping that for university. If I'm not gonna get my mega sized lot with university, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> or just another 64 by 64. That's like the minimum that I'm asking. Um, I need a very, very large lot. Uh, another one. So yes, I would settle for a 64 by 64 when we get university. And I know we're getting university because it's like the most popular pack uh, after pets and seasons although I think for me I would like university university is more higher for me on the ranks if I should rank like university seasons and pets for me it's university first then seasons and then pets um yeah, th those are how I would rank it. If our pets in The Sims 4 would have had more animals, like barnyard animals, that pack would have come higher up. But because it's only cats and dogs, it's my third pack. I really, really need university. Always when I open up my Sims tree, it's the first thing that I do. The first thing that I do is I create a young Sim. A young adult, I make her go to university. I like to play with girls, by the way. When I do a play just for me, I always have a girl. And it's always my sim self. <laughs> It's weird, <laughs> but that's just how I play. I like to play with myself. Not in that way. In, in a normal Sims way, I like to play with my Sim self. It still sounds weird. Mona, just stop talking about it. Uh, but yeah, that's the first thing that I do. I, I open up my game and the first thing that my Sims do is they go to university. Then I let them, you know, meet a guy on campus, uh, preferably a, uh, a, a cult Sim, uh, like a vampire or a fairy so yeah those are also high on my list but because we only have vampires I'm not really putting them there and also it's a game pack not an expansion pack but yeah they always get in touch with either a vampire or a fairy um, or a witch um, and my sim is always a muggle so they don't have any magical powers but they acquire them later that's just how I play it and then later on, uh, you know, we get a pet and something like that. So I definitely have for university very high on my uh, list for The Sims 4. And I know that it's going to come because it's really, really highly requested. So yeah, uh, I'm just hyped for what's coming because the, the year is not over yet. We're in September and I'm hoping that there's going to be like a big announcement somewhere at the end of the year. I'm hoping for it. But don't, you know, don't quote me on it. You never know. Maybe we're not getting any other announcements and did, this is it for this year. But still, really nice to have witches in my game. I cannot wait to play with them. And I cannot wait to build, especially build. You guys know I love building. Um, so as you guys can see, I've not talked about this house, but it's taking shape. It's looking so 
good. I mean, I love that it's three stories. I'm so curious to see what she's gonna do with the three stories. I think it's gonna be amazing. Um, there's it's just so versatile. You can do so much with this build. You can have uh, a couple of studios in there, or an office, a a private. I don't know, jacuzzi room. <laughs> I actually don't know what she's gonna do. I'm, I'm just imagining, uh, imagining things. Um, but yeah, really excited to see what she does. Let me take a little sip of my coffee. Yes, I have my coffee here with me. It's like, like I, it's Friday. I've worked the entire day. It's now 7 p.m. I'm exhausted. I've just cooked dinner. I need, I need a coffee sip. Mm. So good uh yeah okay so i'm caffeinated again let's see where we are oh the color palette and the window so i really like the windows that i'm using those are from get together if i have that correct um i think they go really nicely with any modern build that you would love to do and what i also really like about this build is just the overall shape the shape is so much fun and as you can see i did try to mimic the front a little bit at the back but then gave it a little bit of a twist so you don't have your front looking completely the same as your back but they still feel very unified that is where I went for for the look at the front of the back and I think it looks really nice and I also love that the swimming pool is very central uh, so you walk right out of the patio you see the swimming pool so you can take a dip in the pool and then go lounge on the sun beds because I am adding in a few sun beds I just cannot complete a build an exterior build without adding a few things in the garden it just feels not finished from my end. I don't know if that is like, you know, what you need to do in a collaboration, but that's something that I just do because it feels like the house is not finished from the exterior point. So there will be a few sun beds. And then here I'm trying to figure out how I could make uh, a nice sun room or a sun um, window, a ceiling window. That's it. And at first I really wanted to use the roof, but instead I went with a old school dance floor situation because that was more, the shape was better. It was very square, it was very flat, and that is what I needed for that roof. So here I added in three sun beds. I'm gonna add in, I think a flower or something, uh, a plant, just so that there was a tiny little green touch at the exterior and also some lights and then I'm probably yeah I think I'm almost done with the build there, there's not much that I could really do anymore right I can't remember oh these plants I love these plants <laughs> and they are really nice for bordering off anything in your game so if you would like to you know hide your foundation just place them around your 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 build or if you want to spice up your balconies you can place them along your balcony wall they're just really fun uh, oh and then here i added in some fences i don't know why i did that but i just felt that i needed fences there and they look really nice i like the fences that i added in and those fences are from get famous if you are wondering where they are coming from there is there like a tiny fence from get famous you can also you, you can <laughs> you can also add them to a half wall i did it at the front of the house and also at the back and i think they look really nice um so here fiddling around a little bit with the roofing and i think they were like almost done with this build so let me all know what you thought about this collaboration and of course if you liked the video don't forget to leave a like and if this is the first time that you're watching a video from me and you liked it don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you would never ever miss a video of mine so that's it y'all i'm hoping that you all have an up have a awesome weekend wherever you are and hopefully i will see you all in the next one bye bye Thank <laughs> you.